It is a privilege to present to you our accommodating, disaccommodating IOL with analog capture haptics. Our company is small. The team of management consists of myself. I'm the inventor, a retinal surgeon by training, and Mr. Everleth, who is my MBA partner, who is a serial entrepreneur. Our advisors need no introduction. Tom Dunlap and Tom and Nicholas. Our design is done by Rab Sabelbeam, a former Bachelor engineer. We do our animal experiments at the Wisconsin uh, Primus Center under the leadership of Dr. Paul Kaufman and Marian Croft, who are some of the prominent researchers in presbyopia. And our prototyping is done at the Cleveland Clinic uh, Learner Research Institute. Our product is an accommodating intraocular lens. Our target is cataract patients. We have animal data in nine monkey eyes for more than one year duration. Our results show that we beat all competition. We have two foundational patents. The market is 500 million, expected to grow to one billion. We have been funded entirely by, by government grants. Our Z-Lens intraocular lens is built to mimic this movement. In the Z-Lens resting state, the optic is bolted forward by haptics that are angled backwards. As the ciliary body relaxes, zonules pull the haptics flat, moving the optic backwards. When the ciliary body contracts, the haptics vault the optic forward. In this way, the Z-Lens moves back and forth in much the same way that the natural lens does during accommodation and disaccommodation. Before use, the Z-Lens is temporarily restrained in a flat configuration. When the natural lens becomes cloudy because of age, cataract surgery is required. During surgery, a hole is made in the capsular bag, called a capsularesis, and the natural lens is removed through it. The Z-Lens is then inserted into the now empty capsular bag with the restraining device holding it flat. The capsular bag collapses and adheres to the haptics of the Z-Lens. After a few weeks, the bag fibrosis and becomes stiff, which prevents movement. To restore movement, we activate the Z-Lens by cutting the capsular bag in between the haptics and releasing the restraining device. Activation can be done non-invasively with a YAG or femtosecond laser. After activation, the device will vault forward. Now that the IOL has been activated, it will mimic the movement of the natural lens by flattening out during disaccommodation and vaulting forward during accommodation. This is our current IOL. You see it has a foldable silicon optic. It successfully captures and responds to zonular forces. We have used YAG laser activation, and we have titrated down the size of a radial capsulotomies to what can be done through a dilated pupil. Our results, well, our lens moves, and it moves, and it moves. You can see a UBM showing you the movement of the lens in the eye under edinger westphal stimulation, which is a physiologic level of accommodation. The movement that you see on this lens is unprecedented um, in the field. This is a different eye, a different imaging modality. Again, you see the lens moving back and forth with accommodation. This is a still lamp video, one year after cataract surgery. You can appreciate the opacification, the capsular fibrosis around the radial capsulotomy. You see the capsulotomy would fit through a pupil. The capsular fibrosis does not affect the function of the IOL. And you can see how the optic goes in and out of focus with the movement of the IOL. But how does our IOL compare to the same crystalline lens of the same animal before cataract surgery? In this animal eye, the anterior lens capsule shifted forward 0.48 millimeters during accommodation. Our optic shifted forward 0.47 millimeters. In this different eye, the anterior capsule of a natural crystalline lens shifted forward 0.59 millimeters, and our optic moved as much as 0.8 millimeters. To summarize our results, we have a maximum axial shift of 0.8 millimeters, and we get a maximum flexion of our haptic of about 20 degrees. 
when you use our own monkey's biometric data to calculate the accommodation that we expected to get, the result was one diopter per millimeter of movement. What we have observed using a Hartinger objective refractor was an average of two diopters of accommodation with a range of one to three diopters using energy Westfold and as much as four diopters using Carbacol. If our monkeys or human subjects, this IOL would meet the FDA label for an accommodating IOL. But aside from focusing on the numbers, it is important to look at the movement and to realize when you look side by side a crystalline lens and our IOL that we have captured all of the movement of a crystalline lens in amplitude and in dynamics. One cannot have an accommodating IOL without movement. Zonular capture haptics are an enabling technology because movement captured is movement transformed. Our, uh, we know that a shape-shifting optic provides more accommodation. And if we drive it with a haptic structure that is shown to work, we get a dual mode ADIOL that has both shape and axial shifting of the optic. This allows us to make a small, simply easy, to, easy optic vesicle that does not have pumps or internal mechanisms, and the in silico projection of the accommodation range is 10 to 14 diopters. This is our prototype of a dual mode ADIOL. Note that at the apex of, apex of a movement, the optic is thicker. This is a CAD showing you the cross section through the optic vesicle, a very simple design. We expect to have this tested in a, in a primate in the first half of 2017. This is VR analysis showing you the thickening of the optic during the accommodation movement. We have IP protection to foundational patent and additional applications, divisionals and provisionals for the rest of our devices. Our financial strategy depends primarily on how much money we're able to raise. We have sufficient funds to take our dual mode ADIOL to, to prototype in the first animal. We would like to raise around A to take it to uh, human trials. In summary, we have novel, powerful IOL concepts. We have accomplished major milestones. We have an expert team, patent protection, and this is a massive opportunity. And please remember, we capture the movement. Thank you. Thank you.